chairlift evac from lift towers that have platforms that you can stand on. Um, that's what this is. And to start the sequence off, we've got a little bit of a tagline right there. It just happens to be six mil. It's about 100 feet. Um, and we're just going to feed that down all the way to the bottom. And the people on the bottom are just going to attach the free end of our... Uh, of our rescue seat or t-seat line they're just going to attach it in we're going to end up hoisting the whole thing up uh the actual rescue rope the life safety rope and once we hoist it up uh we're going to create a system uh where we ha operate this tag line over this comm line and then we're going to attach like the the line saver uh to the six mil and then it'll allow us to lift that whole system up and off so we can progress chair after chair after chair um, it just makes the job a little bit easier. Um, it's a little cleaner, less gear, uh, slightly more efficient. So a bunch of ways to skin this cat. This is a way, not necessarily the way, but it's a way that works. So. All right, so if we can get one person. Okay, free end of the line is coming up. We have positive control over it, or we maintain positive control. And then we just start uh, pulling the rest, but we're gonna untie this from the tag line first so we can start pulling the rest up and we'll retie it to the actual line saver once we have the rest of the line. So I would maintain positive control of the line saver and then keep pulling until there's nothing left on the TC then. Oh, yep, yep. There you go. <laughs> nice. And then once we have all that eliminated, it helps with the guys on the bottom or on the ground. It makes their job easier. And once we have all that slack taken up, we can reattach our six mil. Got it. I won't drop it. So any cinching knot hitch uh, will work here. That's not critical. I think we've got a bow line out there. Perfect. All right. Sweet. All right, yeah, I mean, Billy, you've got hands on. I'm letting go. Let go. We're letting you fly. All right, set in place. We're good to go. They have control of all lines. Uh, Chase is going to get out of the picture. Our job on the tower is now done. So we're going to clean up, DC everything up here, and then go down and get reassigned for another job. Okay, so hopefully here you can get a better shot of the line. So we have. Uh, the tagline operator, the line's coming up over the comm line, hooked into the line saver, um, and then we have the rescue line coming up and over. So you can imagine if there are more chairs down the line, we could just lift the whole system up, pass the chair, continue on to the next chair. Okay, so this is like the only key point here where we want to make sure that the bar's down and when we feed the T-seat up, we give them instructions to pull it, pull it from underneath the bar. bar, but leave um, the bar down. He's going to need a little slack. And we'll give you a little bit of slack so that's the there. correct way right there. And we have another line, the white line. Uh, that's just for training purposes because technically we are that, you're just gonna in a general industrial environment. And therefore, uh, and then, when we're training, uh, anybody who's going to be suspended um, needs to be on a primary and a backup. So in this case, the red with the T-seat is the primary. And our backup is going to be the white. So uh, depending on how these operators choose to, to work it, um, you could consider the main operator uh, on the red and then the belayer for the belay or the backup line on the white. So in a real life rescue, uh, we aren't going to have two ropes. It's just going to be uh, a single line for our guests. And we want to give consideration to how, how far off plum our operators are. The further out from plum, the more potential there is to, for for them to get sucked in uh, and off balance. Uh, like forces actually increase when you fan that angle out. So just something to be mindful of. Uh, get in a position that's comfortable, that's functional. Um, so you could argue that maybe, okay, like a 70 degree angle, just like a, a, a ladder, like your standard uh, ground ladder, 70 degrees is probably ideal. Um, it's good to have that combination to, of uh, line of sight to be able to see their face um, and give you that best position. So. Okay, so as we transition and move, really the focus is on the red. So the white isn't really critical right here. Um, in real life, it's going to be this red line that we're focused on. And right now it's stuck because the, the grip of the chair is keeping it set. And so that's why we have this tag line over the comm line. We're going to hoist from here, pull it, 
hoist the whole line saver off. There we go. So now our rope saver's off and you can see it's way up here. And now our line operators left and right for the T-seat line. We're gonna bypass the chair and then set the line saver back yeah. onto the haul cable for the next iteration. <laughs> and so this green line is just an option. So it's a tag line. We're gonna manage it. And so this is a good option if uh, we don't want them to land on something that's a little bit uh, challenging. We can vector our line completely over by pulling in three dimensionals, three dimensional directions anywhere we want to go. So we can pull them towards us if we want a little bit, just like that, and he's on the ground. So simple tagline. <laughs>